today we're looking at this gorgeous echeveria flowers and they're showing off they're showing beautiful colors so in today's video i'm gonna talk about why do they bloom when do this when do they bloom and what to do with them okay let's go hi everyone this is leslie of suckling social i hope you're all doing good in today's video we're going to talk all about succulent flowers and why we have them what to do with them yeah i have here some gorgeous spots of echeveria holy gate and also echeveria topsy-turvy because they're really showing off right now so first let's talk about when do they bloom and why do they do it well um all succulents have a capacity to to bloom and some of them do it mostly they do it in spring and summer um, for like echeverias some do it in midwinter and their flowers come in different shapes and sizes and for some gurus the best way to actually identify the species is by waiting for it to flower and looking at it i don't know how they do it um but that's what they do <laughs> all right um now I have here this beautiful holy gate and I'm filming this video at the end of summer and that's why all these stalks are actually in their full bloom because um, the flowers actually bloom with they, they need light for photosynthesis to to support the growth of the flowers and as you know most of the succulents originated from warm climate so they need lots of sun so oh, that's the farina <laughs> so what i'm doing here now is i'm removing the stalks we have already a few weeks to appreciate them and so it's time for them to say bye bye and why i'm doing this is because of a few changes that happens to succulents when they actually bloom so one of the reasons well, one of the um the things that you will notice is that they might not be looking so plump they might be looking a little sad and dry and all that um, they will not grow a lot because they're using their energy to produce the flowers instead of um, making the itself grow so for that reason um, after appreciating so much then we cut off the the blooms also there would be um the the blooms are actually haven for pests millibugs aphids they like this these flowers you know they're like bees they like these flowers as well and we don't want um in order to prevent a lot of them in the garden so we cut them off also because they shoot up in in different sides of the rosettes for example our flower our succulent could be deformed and so um for all these reasons we cut them off and but later i'm going to show you what do i do with them okay so now this holy gate also has a lot of offspring so there's a lot of stress going on with this mama because its energy is going through the offspring offspring its energy is going through the flowers and so we're going to remove all of this to kind of help it a bit um i am actually going to sell some of these so i am leaving a stock for you know oh, look at this this is a pest right here i have here a little mealy bug here so when you are handling the flowers it's good to actually um look for them as well just so we can get rid of them and they don't go around the garden anymore all right so now what i've done is i just left a stock in each of them but i collected all those stocks that i cut off and what i've done is i remove all those leaves in the stock because i'm going to use them for propagations so um yes everyone we can propagate through offsprings we can propagate through leaf propagation from the resets but we can also do so from the stalks of um, the flowers so um i'm going to show you at the end of this video how they're looking right now 
um, after they've shoot up some leaves. And if you've seen in other videos that we have, um, you can see that we can easily grow pups or succulents from the flower um, leaves. Yeah. Um, now, if your succulent is showing a little bit of uh, stalk already and you want them to bloom the, the flowers, you can give a little bit more of sun exposure, but, um, or you can just let nature take it, its course and uh, bloom them. We don't also fertilize them because, again, we don't want the flowers to actually, um, you know, grow so big we cut them anyway so we don't really fertilize just for the flowers now there are um some questions um people asking if the succulents die when they bloom the answer is not all of them like this for example echeverias they don't um there are some succulents those like um some probiobiums were in they're called monocarpic, wherein if they flower, the flower shoots up from the middle of the rosettes, like like um, straight from the stem. And that means that it's actually uh, a dead bloom, as they call it. After the succulent has flowered, it will actually die. But the good thing is, before it dies, it's going to shoot off a lot of babies. So it's going to leave a little bit of um, legacy <laughs> in this world before it um, dies off. So now, um, what else do I need to tell you? Yes, yeah, so what do I do with these flowers? Um, I actually put them in very nice containers and because they can last. So even if you already remove all the leaves and I separate them and put them aside for leaf propagation. The stalks, I actually put them in nice spots and I display it in our home because they last long and they're actually beautiful. They're really, really gorgeous. So now I'm just gonna leave this mama plants and I'm gonna put these leaves, I'm gonna put this aside for leaf propagation the only thing is that because the leaf from the stalks are smaller when the pups come out they're actually kind of smaller as well um, but they will just grow and these beautiful stalks are coming with me okay i'm going to show you so these are the stalks in this gorgeous uh, shell pots that i have and I'll be displaying this in our home. This would take months. I promise you, this would take months to live. As you can see from this gorgeous tree in my front yard, it is now autumn here in Australia. It's actually towards the end of autumn today. And a lot of the trees have changed, the, the, the trees, the leaves have changed colors and have fallen. As you can see in my front yard, a lot of these crunchy leaves. So that means it has already been um, a full season, three months since the last time that we cut the flower stalks. And I'm going to show you how they look right now. So I just bought, brought them out maybe a week ago because all those dried uh, flower pods have been dropping. So uh, as you can see, the, the pods have already dried. Well, some people actually use this for, you know, pollination, cross-pollination, but um, I, I'm not particularly knowledgeable in doing that. So I just display this. Um, and so that's three months down the road. But the leaves, some of the leaves and the stalks are still intact. And they've been kept there with no water, nothing at all. They've been kept inside the house. Um, but yeah, it has been a gorgeous display. Now, I want to show you as well what happened to those um, leaves from the stalks. Um, they have been potted uh, already in soil. So a lot of them have grown pups. This in the front are the Echeveria topsy turvy, and the one at the back would be um, the Holy Gate, which actually are smaller. So, there, there you go. Um, it, it actually took them a little while to grow pups, 
um, just because I think they are the leaves are were not mature yet because they're from the stalks. But if you have time, if you have patience, just set it, set them aside, and they will give you more plants. So just like this ones, they had a little bit of um, mealybugs, bugs, so we had to treat them a little bit. But now they're they're almost gone and they're ready to be planted as well um, in the soil. And that's about it for succulent flowers. If you have any questions, please feel free to um, put it in the comment section below. We'll try to answer them for you and hope you learned something in this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel or you could also follow us in our social media pages as we'd love to share more of our videos with you. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.